Hello everyone, welcome back to you. Here we have to transform our innovative ideas into great product designs. With the help of Sodox 3 cad we are going to introduce the concept of drawing less manufacturing to the organization. This is Ajay Kumar, application engineer referencing from EGS India. This is the agenda we are going to set for the next few minutes. How to deal the product manufacturing information PMI with directly to the 3D and also how to work hand in hands to redrawings with majorly dealing for the manufacturing departments and the collaborations and the archiving and the reusing of 3D data with the help of SOLIDWORKS MBD. Understanding the customer requirements is the most and priority level to win the orders. Here in the clear picture, it is clearly explained that what is the requirement and what is the outcome. The stage-based process has been done and by the each department and those has been taken by the understanding level. It is directly leads to the customer uncomfort and the unsatisfaction of the products. The budget will be vary with the project timelines. Let's see what happens in the background. In the screen, you could clearly see that there is a 2D drawing with no dimensions for any of the respective views. What is drawing explaining about? Whether it is a board one or whether it is an extrusion process. It explains me the two different various kinds. And another best example of miscommunication is the different various that explained by the different departments and it does not have a streamlined process that totally leading to the a delay and as well as a long of reworks for manufacturing. Any solution for this kind of issue? Here comes the SOLIDWORX MBD. SOLIDWORX MBD is a model based definition. Helps for the manufacturers to avoid the errors and reworks. The initial process of this kind of manufacturing is a 3D model. The 3D model can be designed for the various process wise and those process wise can be easily collaborated with a 2D drawing. But wait, whether this 2D drawing could be able to produce a best result for the manufacturer, whether it is a clear one, a common question. Here the SOLIDWORKS MB has the best answer for this kind of question. Provide the manufacturing information for the product directly to the 3D model and make an efficiency of the product outcome. Why SOLIDWORKS MBD? According to the US Secretary of Defense, one third of the engineering dollars are spent in 2D drawing. Yet 60% of them doesn't match for the 3D model. Come up with how this can be overcome and what is the best solution product here we are going to see. Let me move into the live presentation. This is Sorex user environment. Here we have an assembly. In this assembly, this is an underwater camera housing where precise fire fits or require to prevent water ingress and where these gears needed to mess accurately. To control the zoom and focus, every part in this assembly should be a precise one and it should also meet the geometric tolerances. Here you can able to notice that the rotation of the shaft and as well as the meshing of the gears that must be precise so that the engagement of the process should be a very clean and good. So here the midway of the component, the gear plate, this was the, the most focused one so that the dimensions that meet the actuations of the total machine. Here the SOLIDWORKS MBD comes into the road. The different views can be captured like a screenshot in our mobile phones. Introduction of the 3D model is adding the nodes. The product manufacturing information as takes place the more over here with respect to the materials, the mass and the common information of the, about the product. Here the parameters can be easily linked with the help of custom properties. The part number, the name, the material, the mass, everything can be easily customized and linked to the nodes. 
even though we can also able to link the GDNT nodes and the symbols. Here for the introducing of the dimensions adding, I just want to create the dimensions with respect to the datum. Here the datums can be easily specified by simply clicking on the faces. Once the face selection is done, you can pick the specific features so that the dimensions can be made to that. Now here I just want to create the bearing holes and also the shaft holes. Once everything selected and click done, you can instantly notice that the dimension has been appeared. The dimensions has been created with respect to datums. The tolerances and the GDNT symbols has been automatically recognized and displayed in the screen. Here I would like to create the respective dimensions for the top view. Here the views can be easily generated and the basic dimensions with respect to the tolerance can be easily picked up. Here the annotations can be easily moved from one view to the another view, which makes the user more convenient in working in the dimensions. Once I have been completed in the top view, you can see that the dimension has been easily placed and captured in the screen. It is really simple and more intuitive. Once we are done, we can easily move to the next view, that is the front view. In the front view, I have been generated the dimensions. Once the placement is ok for me, you simply click capture. It immediately captures what is on the screen is live. Here you can see everything is fine. So I am simply clicking the capturing view and the views can be selected by preferring which has to be captured. And the next we can able to create the dimensions for the patterns. Here there is an intelligence of SOLIDWORKS MBD recognize the holes automatically and it dimension how much it is and how much it differs from the dimension. Here instantly you can able to see that how many quantity of the holes and not only that the specific tolerances. These tolerances can be easily controlled on the other hand and not only that you can also move those specific dimensions and filter in the respective views. Here I just want to move the specific dimensions to a new view called a flanges holes. So the next I would like to notice that is everything is done I can easily update then and there. Now I just want to create a right side view. In the right side view you can see that there is an absence of dimensions, which means we have to create from scratch. This is more simple. Now I am going to take action to create the dimensions in manually. Here you can see the MBD tab inside the SOLIDWORKS works environment. In those tab, I can easily create the location dimensions, the size dimensions, and as well as the datums. Here I just want to make a dimension for this width of the gear flange. Here once the dimension is placed, you can able to create the tolerance types, here it is a bilateral or limit or symmetric or etc. The location dimensions between the components can also be easily evaluated with various kinds. The selection of faces is only requirement to create the location dimension. The location dimension is one step ahead. You can create the flatness or the curveness by creating the intersection line with selection of the faces. The intersection line or else the intersection circle can be easily created with the selection of two faces. Here by selecting the intersection two lines, you can specify the dimensions. Here the dimensions can be placed with respect to the x direction or y direction or else the depth is a direction. Here also an additional tool is called user defined 
so that the edges can be easily referenced to make the dimension. And the next we are going to see the fillets and chamfers. The fillet dimension can be easily created by simply clicking on the curve and the chamfer dimension is also provided with reference to the how much of degree and what is the quantity of it. Now everything is fine, I am just simply capturing these views. The next one, I just want to create the dimension for the left side view. Here in the predefined views, I have been extracted a few dimensions. Now I need few more dimensions. To reduce the work of the designers, the future dimensions can be easily bring back into the SOLIDWORX MBD so that the selection of the dimensions can be integrated into the SOLIDWORX MBD. So simply prefer which dimensions you need to extract and click OK so that the dimensions can be easily captured. You can hide and show the necessary and unnecessary dimensions in the viewport. Once it looks everything fine, simply capture the 3D view. It is really most fun for the designers to work in this folder MBD. And what about the working with the version files? In case of any versions or revisions, Sawdox MBD is the most helpful way to communicate within the single integrated platform. For the versions files, to be again we want to recreate the dimensions from the first, it is not necessary. By using a copy scheme tool, we can bring back every dimensions and collaborate with the new version tools. This is one of the major intelligence in Sawdox MBD. Everything is fine for me. Now it's ready to see the outputs of this created files. So before I am publishing these documents, I would like to ensure whether the views and the dimensions has been captured in a right way. Sawdox MBD has a capability of publishing the outputs in the various kind format. One is the e-drawings and another one is the 3D PDF. In e-drawings, we can bring back every configuration and also we can provide the passwords so that the document can be easily protected while sharing to the stakeholders, suppliers and vendors. So once everything is fine, simply click OK and those parameters can be easily fetched directly into the e-drawings. E-drawing is one of the most communicative way to understand the 3D drawings and for the approval process. So here you can find that the dimensions, the views, everything captured in this Aurox MBD has been integrated in the e-drawings. Now the user can study the drawing. What are the dimensions you click? It will be highlights in the future so that the user can understand that which dimension refers to what. Every views has been bring into these e-drawings. While dealing with the assembly files, in the assembly files, the smart diamonds plays a major role. Here, what is the maximum height? What is the maximum width between the two gears? So everything can be easily deal in the case of assembly files. Here, I just want to create one of the dimensions. So by using the smart dimension tool, I am just adding the front shaft to the gear centric. Immediately the dimensions appear in the screen. It's very really impressive. And additional to that, we are going to see the extrusion view. In SOLIDWORKS MBD has a fantastic capability that exploded view can also be easily captured. The display stage is also an exemption to the viewers so that most communicable and understanding. Everything good. Now I am want to view one of the output in 3D PDF. So we can easily publish the files which was generated directly to 3D PDF. Those 3D PDF can be easily customized and created as a template. Here the parameters is can be easily linked with use of custom properties and the PDF form field. 
The users can share their comments or feedbacks, their forms can be easily filled out. Now I just want to publish my document into 3D PDF. The PDF, 3D PDF can be easily selected with reference to the templates. The views can be easily selected so that they will be published in the output. Here the custom properties can also be verified and the accuracy of the document can also be maintained so that the protection will be more higher and reliable. Here in case of any attachments the user would like to do can also be easily attach the files for a reference. Once everything's fine, click OK. Now here what the manufacturer needs. Instead of 2D drawings, the manufacturer is viewing the documents in a live model as like how the designer deals with 3D CAD. Simply click on the dimensions, it will highlight which feature. As like in e-drawings, the 3D PDF has also the capability of highlighting the features with respect to the dimensions created. The measurement of the tool is also eligible for the users. The comments can be easily shared here. And on side of the screen you can see that the notes which was added into the sort of simply. To ensure the drawings, the user can make a measurement of the tool. And another advantage of Sourdex MBD is publishing the assembly file. Here the explore view, the capture view, everything is good. And added to that the bill of materials. It highlights which components is which item and also the vice versa. It is really cool for the users to understand a more communicable process in following to this Autodesk MBD. In case of any notes can also be added so that the communication will be taking place in a proper way. Here I would like to convey one of the additional advantages of Autodesk MBD. The things we what are the capture, the things what are the added into the viewport, everything can be sorted out and can be formed into the folders so that the designer can enjoy the tools with an organized, streamlined and a structured process. In the views, you can also find that which references to which dimensions. Here the GDNT tolerances and the datums and what are the nodes, everything is formed in a structure and that has been created in its folders and subfolders so that the organizations can easily understand. And another benefit of Sourdox MBD is creation of the product manufacturing function for the sheet metal components. Sheet metal components, we can add a bend table by using our Sourdox MBD. These can also be easily captured in view and those can be published to the 3D PDF. So not only for the solid manufacturers, it's also for the sheet metal fabrications, the MBD is the most proper way to communicate. I would like to share one of the customer stories who implemented Sorex MBD. The general reality has been introducing Sorex MBD and reduced their document creation and fewer mail and the 3D model product manufacturing information carries a lot of downloads which will improve their business products and their growth. Please contact us for any information or live demonstration www.egcindia.com Thank you.